four phrases we should stop using at work and what to say instead. Number one, we need to boost productivity. What's wrong with this phrase? This phrase means absolutely nothing. Productivity has become a classic buzzword used in emails and meetings. Better ways to work on productivity rather than using this vague phrase will help. Instead, say something specific like, let's boost web traffic this week by 10%. Make sure to provide steps to reach a concrete productivity goal. Productivity is useless if it's not measurable. Number two, we'll circle back to this. What's wrong with it? This is the ultimate procrastination phrase. It sounds like you're putting off dealing with pressing issues. If people feel like you're always putting off what they're bringing up, you'll hear less from them. Here's what to say instead. Please send me an email with more detail. When are you free to talk about this? Address an issue in some capacity immediately. If you can't fully address something, plan a follow-up with some actionable steps. Number three, I think. Of course, we're all going to say it, but it may be giving off a very different connotation than what you think. It can suggest you're unsure or you don't trust what you're about to say. If what you're saying sounds like a guess on your part, how can you expect others to put their trust in? Instead of, I think we should do X to boost traffic, try X will help us boost traffic. When the best leaders speak, they jump right into what they're going to tell you, as if it's fact. Number four, we need to innovate. What's wrong with it? Another classic buzzword repeated so often that it's lost its meaning. If you're throwing this term around without truly qualifying what innovation looks like, no one knows what to work towards. Here's what to say instead. Let's innovate by finding a faster way to get customers through the onboarding process. Like productivity, qualify and quantify what it means to innovate if you're going to talk about it. To learn more about improving productivity and communication, visit us at blog.highbox.co.